Good morning. I'm currently trying to set up a um, workflow for measuring brickwork on housing schemes and this is the prototype at the moment and what I thought I'd do is try and work out what everyone else out there measures and to what detail they measure and ideally what information they would like out of a measuring package for um, brickwork. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what I've got on Bluebeam already and then we can see what we can do with the information. So just looking at this house type here, we've got things like projecting band courses, stone sills, splayed headers, uh, different types of windows, doors, um, raking brickwork to the ease, we've got some corporal details, etc. And um, I've measured that type. I've got another type of house here. So we've got one here with tile hanging, which has obviously got some different details to it. And here we go. This is uh, another unit, which is um, already measured. This is measured as a brickwork type. But I'm going to quickly show you on this next house type. This, I'm going to measure this as a rendered house type. So I've already put some bits on here. But what we do very quickly is I've got a little template set up for marking the story heights. If I just place that on there. So we want to measure this as render. So this is our external walls in render so what I can literally do is just line these up it's a bit harder than normal because it's on a smaller screen to what I'm used to but we get the idea Now I'm going up above the eaves line just purely because I know the block work goes up behind there. You can adjust this to how you want. I'm not covering the brick corbel area because I do that as an extra over. So let's do some gables on here. Now the gables kind of a bit past, so this is just a quick exercise. Come through to there, there. There. Now, the the tools I've done for this um, over here, you can see I've got some custom details. So that has allocated everything to uh, superstructure lift, but I'll come back to that in a minute. So we need to do some quick cutouts for our windows and doors. What I'll do for the moment is I'll just do a couple of these elevations. And give you an idea of how it all works. And the reason we do these cutouts is because we're going to fill in some details in a minute. Do right, um, jump onto stone seals and stone heads next because we want those details in there. So, this is going to be slower than normal just purely because I'm recording the screen. So, stone seal, stone seal. This is actually a nice, straightforward house type. Okay, so we've got um, projecting bands on these ones. And when you mark all these up, if I zoom in quickly, you can just get all the detail out of it. So 
anyone can clearly see what when they pick up the drawings what's being measured we've got a projecting band on down here and up here um, we've got a brick oh nice to the we've got a 150 identical up here so we just do that And we've got some brick corbels. It's just counts the number, so the size doesn't have to match exactly what's on the drawing. So we've got those, and we've got some splayed headers. Let's just do it. Oh, we've got another. Um, projecting band down here so we just do that one quickly so that's those then windows and doors got some markups for these now I'm going to mark up these differently so I've got an external door type one and patios will be different to the front doors because we want some different details so you've got two and window types One's on the ground floor there, a type one. I'm going to do that as a type one, two. And these ones up under the eaves, I'm going to do as a type two. Oh, we've got band course across the front. We can jump back to that. Doesn't matter what order we do all of this in. Okay, so that's all done. Um, yeah, let's quickly do this elevation as well, just to show you don't need to do it in any particular order. Window cut out. Window. And let's do our stone seals. I've got a couple of those. Projected bands. At least this way you can see how long it actually takes um, to measure a whole house. As you probably saw there, I'm rushing this a little bit, so my my uh, opening wasn't as accurate as it should be, but um, I'll leave it at that for now. That's my projectings done. Oh, there's one more. Two more. Blade headers. Um, dental one hundred and fifty. We've got that up here. There is raking brickwork here, but I'm not going to do that quite at the moment. Um, and we brick call and brick call balls. And once again, we need to do our door details. So this one's going to be a type one. Windows. Type one. Type one. And the one up under the eaves. Type two. So that is me done on measuring that house top and the external walls. What I'm going to do quickly is export that to a CSV, press OK, and that's our bit on blue being done. Now jumping over to 
Excel. And what I've done is I've set up some external wall types and partition types and party walls, um, just so you can see on here. So render, we've got this type of block work, bed reinforcement, cavity, insulation, and block work. That's our makeup of the external walls. These other ones are different. And for our window types, um, so on our external doors, so front doors, I've put in that we want thermobate on both sides. Um, let's take out, we don't need a former. And we got wheat vents above the door. We've got a cavity tray. We've got a lintel type one on our windows. So I've got a lintel type one over the type one window and a lintel type four over the type two. But on these ones, I've got the cavity tray wheat vent centers and the former but this one we don't need the cavity tray so that's where we get our details uh, splits when i jump back to blooming we haven't quite finished because as i said a lot of these details if i jump over to here are measured under superstructure that's the default but this one wants to be uh, top out this one wants to be top out. But see, all these items here are measured under superstructure. So when we jump back to Excel, this is how we, we put our lift heights in so it can split it all down. So if we use the house type, specific house type, we can put that in. If we don't put a specific house type in, it will go to the default. Um, we've got a rates page. I'm still working on this, trying to fill out. And so you would have a master rates page and you can see on there, we've got all the different types of brickwork, we've got types of block work, um, sundries. And very quickly, yes, these rates are all out of date, but I'm not gonna put current stuff in here, but you can see we've got day rates for the men, how many hours a day that's based on, um, overhead and profit margins, um, working out mortar etc so the idea of this is if I look at this you look at this right here 180 pound a day and that comes out 45.55 but if I change that to 200 it changes it to 49.80 if I looked at this and said I'm gonna I'm expecting another 10% increase it adjusts it um, on mortar same again no, yet it's coming up to uh, January the 1st, so no doubt all the mortar suppliers are going to want another, say, 8% on their mortar rate. So it updates everything automatically. So filled out those details. So what does that all give you? So what that's going to give you is when we hit a button, it gives you house type split down into lifts, total prices. But not only do you want that, if you jump back to this, you've got it, everything's broken down into labor, mortar and sundries. So if it's broken down, we might as well have the information. So we've got total here, but that's the labor values per lift. That's the mortar values per lift. And that's the sundries values per lift. Not only have you got that, but for the whole site, You've got a list of all your different materials and you've got a list per house type. Even better, what you can actually have is your house type with all the materials in that house type and then broken down by lift. And the final one is, we've got a little check table over here. So these are, these are all the items, these are the house types and these are the rates that are being applied in those house types. So you can see from this that I actually haven't put in a, I worked out a rate for a 450 cavity tray yet. I haven't got any details in for the lintels or anything like that. But jumping back to the beginning, uh, as you can see here, I've only got a the four house types. So I haven't got the, the fifth house type that I've just measured. So to get that, literally hit a button, refresh all, You go so i've now got the new hadley house type render one i've got the breakdowns 
did I not put the top out in there? Uh, I didn't split that out properly, so I will come back to that in a while, but let me jump across. So we've now got the new house type Hadley render here. All the breakdowns. On here we've got Hadley render as well. So you can see we've got exactly the same square meter to the outside, but instead of um, down here on this one, face work, 146 square meters here, nothing here because that's all in block work as well. Um, and we've got the bed reinforcement at uh, 225 centers here with the rendered air one, uh, rendered area. Um, so that's that. And if I come across to this one, Hadley render, we've got all the information here again. And uh, we've got the Hadley render on here as well. So that's kind of given you everything, but just to so I come back across here, so if I came on to my rates and I said, um, I don't want profit at 15%, I want profit at 25%, if I jump back to my values, I've got 84,351 there. 25% jump back to here I need to do another refresh and there you go that's the new values and all of these ones will have been updated too so that's the setup so far but welcome any feedback on what other people were looking at measuring and um, what other details you'd like to see uh, and yeah yeah any feedback will be most welcome Look forward to hearing from some of you. Thanks. Bye.